crystal ball again. The old cans and a string. Stephanie called. She said she's very pretty, quiet. Nothing much has changed except she's not 10 years old anymore. Are you going to tell her? How many bombs do you think I can lay on her today? I just can't figure out quite the right approach. She has to know. She hasn't been here in years. I figure a few more hours won't hurt. Let's let the whole town lay out the red carpet for her and everything will take care of itself. You say so. Long Lake, you never know what to expect. <laughs> did you know my father? Yes, I did. Father was very kind to me when my husband died. Helped pay for part of the funeral service. He did? Your father always took care of everyone in this town. I'm very lucky to have him as your father. I think you knew him better than I did. I assure you I am. I'm not a lucky woman. Mm. I'll let you do what you need to do. Uh -huh. Well, mm. into the fire I go. Oh. Oh, I don't know what I should do. I mean, should I should I go in there and, and hug her and tell her, Oh, darling, I'm so glad you're home, but I'm so sorry it took dirt on your father's grave to get you here. Yeah, I think you need a new approach. Oh, he's never coming back. I have to go in there and talk to his daughter. I don't know what I'm going to say. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I think I jumped the gun. What do you mean? Mr. Rose just called. He's, he's been held up. He's running for DA. Oh, I can wait. Or I can go get something to eat. I can get you a snack. Oh, Charlotte. Hello, bad news. Mr. Rose called. He's been held up. I, I do have those papers for you that we talked about. Grace? Yes? Does everyone in this town know my name? <laughs> Are you here for the reading of my father's will? I'm Charlotte Durier. I was married to you. 